Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com, and in this video, we're gonna look at the courses feature within ClickFunnels 2.0. So if you wanna offer courses through ClickFunnels, this is how you can do it. So first we need to come into Sites, and then we wanna to go to Courses down here, and we need to go ahead and create a course. And a lot of this is actually reasonably intuitive, so that's a nice thing. All right, so it gives us a few different course types to select. We have a blank course, a basic course, and a nested course. Now, the basic course and nested course, like they, they come pre-made kind of with different sections and lessons and things like that. And so if your course does not precisely fit what they have here, the three modules and nine lessons or two modules and 18 lessons, like you have to delete a bunch of stuff and move a bunch of stuff. So my recommendation is to create a blank course. And then that way you can make sure that it fits what you need versus, you know, adding too much and then having to delete stuff. So just, just my word of advice, start with the blank course. So let's say that I'm creating a ClickFunnels 2.0 course. And I can add a description for my course. Course is awesome. And then I can go ahead and create a course path if I want to. And I'm good with that one. So I'll just go ahead and do, actually, let me go ClickFunnels 2. There we go, next step. And then I can go ahead and select a theme for my course. Now I'm gonna use the hero theme that I am currently working with. But if for whatever reason you wanted to have a different theme for this course, you could go ahead and change the theme. Like if I wanted to change the colors to match click funnels or something like that, I could go ahead and change the theme. I could also go ahead and add a thumbnail thumbnail image for my course if I want to. And we go ahead and select an image and I'm just gonna pick a stock image and let's see if there's a funnel image that I could go ahead and use. Oh, lots of funnel stuff. Let me go ahead and use this image right here and then we'll do next step. And my course is currently being created. And so now we can go ahead and create the course. But before we do that, I wanna look at a couple things. So right here, we can see that the course is currently in draft mode and when it's ready to go live, I can go ahead and publish it. If we could click on settings, I could change like the name and the description and the path and all that other stuff. So if you wanna change anything, you can go ahead and do that. Additionally, we can go ahead and change some Learning Hub settings. So Learning Hub is part of the customer dashboard. So this is the customer dashboard right here, and I've shown it in other videos. So if you're unfamiliar with it, link in the description down below, so you can learn more about the customer dashboard. But what this will do is have the course show up in the Learning Hub. So in this case, I do wanna go ahead and add this course to the Learning Hub. I do wanna show it to non-members as well, so that way they can see that, hey, there's a course that you don't have. And then I could go ahead and link to a sales page or a sales funnel that offers this course. Now I don't have a sales page or funnel available yet, but let's say I create one, I could go ahead and plug the link in here. So that way, when somebody that does not belong to the course wants to join, it takes them to the sales page so they can go ahead and buy it and gain access to it. So that's a great way for people to be onboarded because they're in your customer portal or in your learning hub. And then they see that they have, or they see there's a course that they don't have access to and they can get access to it. Additionally, you could go ahead and enable, enable lesson comments. So this way people could go ahead and leave comments on your lessons, which may or may not be something you want. So you could turn it on or off. Additionally, there is the community. So if you offer your students access to a community, then they could go ahead and post questions maybe in the community as well. So depending how you wanna go ahead and set things up is what you could go ahead and do. And then this redirect to full course. So if enabled, when someone visits the course in the learning hub, it will re redirect to the co full course view. So basically if they're in this learning hub, then, and they go over to the course, it'll bring up the full course, which you probably wanna do. So leave that turned on. And advanced settings, so we could check it, this out. And so we could change our template if we want to for the different lessons or modules or homepage and all the other stuff. And then you could share this course structure with somebody. Or if they're trying to access your course and don't have authorized access, you could send them to another location. For example, the sales page. So same concept, unauthorized access redirect and the show to non-members, you probably would use the same link to direct direct people to go ahead and buy the course so they can access it. So anyway, those are just some advanced settings or settings that are available to you. And then we have this drop down for adding content, which we're going to do, but we're gonna do it down here instead. So we'll cover that in just a second. Additionally, you might notice that the course started as a free course, and that's because I do not have it connected to a product yet. Let me click on convert to paid. And what this does is it brings us over to the link products. So I need to link this course with a product in order to charge money for access to this course. And I have another video on products that I recommend checking out where I talk about how to create a product. But if you have a product already created, you can go ahead and link it here. 
or alternatively, when you create a product, you can link it to a course. So you can connect it from both ends and you know it'll sync up and everything like that. So check out the product video if you need help creating a product. But let's come back out here to course outline and actually construct our course. So we have our modules first that we need to go ahead and create. So we'll go ahead and create a module and we can have a parent module and sub modules as well. So this, since this is the first module, this is the parent. And I'll just say introduction and intro to course and create a module. And I could have a module image right here if I want to, but I'm just gonna create the module. And now that I have one module already, I could go ahead and add a sub module as well. So you can get very detailed and break down your courses however you need within ClickFunnels 2.0. So I think that's very nice. In ClickFunnels Classic, you could not get this level of detail. So I'm glad that they've added this. So let's just say that this is for Click funnels classic and i'll create the module and i'll just create another module just for the sake of example and click funnels 2.0 and create module so now you can see that i have the introduction and then within the introduction i have a category or a module for Cl click funnels classic and also a click funnels 2.0 so, and as you might have saw when i was adding these modules you can go even deeper so i could have a module within introduction ClickFunnels 2.0 and then another module inside so again I can get you know really detailed where I want to put my content speaking of content let's go ahead and add you know a lesson so let's say I want to add a lesson to the introduction so we'll add content and add lesson and we'll go ahead and call this welcome to the course and create lesson and there you go my lesson has shown up now let's say that I want to put it ahead of my other modules my sub modules I can just drag it right there so now Welcome to the course comes before the different sub modules. So I want everybody to watch this welcome to the course video. And so let's go ahead and edit this. Let's click into it. And it basically loads up a page builder. If you're unfamiliar with how the page builder works, I have a video on it, link in the description down below. Recommend you check it out. But we can go ahead and create our course content here. So we have our title, we can add a description and change the module, so all that info. Here we can go ahead and add media. So if we have a specific file that we want to share as part of our course, like if we have a video course, I could go ahead and upload a video file or we could add thumbnail or audio and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little video file real quick. And so here's my video file and ClickFunnels will let you host video files. So that's very nice. You don't have to upload them to Vimeo or YouTube or something like that and put them on your site. You can upload them straight to ClickFunnels and I don't know what the storage restrictions are, but I've uploaded 500 megabyte files without any issues. But anyway, there's my media file. I can update my lesson URL if I want to do anything with that. I could change the path. And then there are advanced settings right here that I could go ahead and adjust. So if I want to change the theme of my particular lesson, I could go ahead and do that. But again, that's probably more that I wanna go ahead and accomplish. Over here, I could go ahead and create content. So I could go ahead and use the page builder and I could go ahead and you know add some content here. So let's just throw some random stuff in here. And this is the lesson content, read all of it and whatever else. And note, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and if you want to link to a YouTube video or something like that, you could drag the video element over here and then you could go ahead and link to a video URL. So YouTube, Vimeo, Boomly, Wistia, HTML5, and Custom Embed, so different options. So you don't have to use the media upload if you don't want to. You can link to a YouTube video. Just use the video element over here and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and reload. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. And so now I've added a lesson here. Of course I could come in here and I can add lessons to my ClickFunnels Classic module and my ClickFunnels 2.0 module. I could add another parent module. So right here and the parent module two and create module and scrolling down. So then I have parent module right two right there. And so that's how you go about building your course. Like I said previously, it is pretty intuitive. You know, you just create your modules and your lessons and then you add your content. Additionally, you may notice this drop down right here. It currently says draft, but if you click on it, you could go ahead and publish your module. You could also set it to drip. So you, if you want people to have to wait, you know, one day or three days or whatever before they can access a module, you could go ahead and do that. And so some people might connect this to a workflow. So on day three, the customer receives an email, hey, your new module is unlocked, head over and check it out, stuff like that. So you could go ahead and drip your content if you wanna do something fancy. Also, you could go ahead and lock the modules. 
where the person has to take a certain lesson before they can access the next module. So if you want to slow people down so they take the full course, you can go ahead and add blocker lessons. Now you can't select a blocker lesson until it's published first. So here's, you know, welcome to the course lesson. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this and then any sort of module below it. So we have these modules below it. I can go ahead and restrict. So if I lock it, I should be able to select welcome to the course and update module. So now the individual has to take the welcome to the course class before they can ever access the ClickFunnels classic module. And maybe I would do the same with my ClickFunnels 2.0 module. So that way I make sure people watch that welcome to the course video first. And then for the sake of example, I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this whole course real quick. And we can see that it gives us the option to make this a course available at a certain date and time if we want to. But I wanna go ahead and publish it immediately, so I'm gonna leave it blank. And then it lets us know that we have two modules that are in draft. So if I want them included, I could go ahead and turn this to yes and update course. And now I can go ahead and preview the course. And so here it is. I see my two parent modules, introduction and parent module two. I see my welcome to the course lesson right here. And then I see my ClickFunnels Classic and ClickFunnels 2.0 sub modules right here. So let me go ahead and click into the welcome to the course module right here and take a look at what it looks like. So here it is in all its glory. Um, obviously, I'm not really a fan of all this white space up here. I think it's kind of very wide and I don't like that the navigation menu is over here on the left hand side completely and it's a blue color versus my orange color. So there are some changes that I want to make to the design of these course pages and I'll talk about that in just a second here. But let's go ahead and look at the the course or the lesson as well. So we have the, the title and then we have the video that I uploaded right here and then they could go ahead and mark lesson complete. And then here's the content for my post down below the video and down below this button. So some things to, to take note of, right? So now I wanna go ahead and update how my pages look. So let's come back over here and go to overview. And then I wanna go ahead and click on customize. And I do have a full video on updating the theme and also the style guide as well. So please check out those videos if you need help you know, changing your theme around to make it look how you want link in the description down below. But for the course, I'm gonna come over to course right here. And now I'm looking at, there's module lessons right here. Let's click into that and see what that looks like. So we can see all this white space around here. So I can go ahead and update this section. I probably wanna get rid of some of this padding around it, the top and bottom padding. There we go, clean that up a little bit. I also don't like how the modules, again, is touching that page over there. So I'm gonna try and get to this flex container and the width is currently 100%. I'm gonna put it like at, I don't know, 95%. That way it's not touching the side of my browser window because I don't know, for whatever reason, that just looks sloppy to me. And then I wanted to make this stuff orange versus the blue color. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to orange and then also maybe right over here. And for whatever reason, I can't figure out how to change that blue right now, but with enough determination, I would get that blue turned orange, but everything else looks good to me. So I'd go ahead and click on save. And then I could go to my lesson page as well and update it. Again, too much white space for me. So I'd go ahead and remove the padding on the top and the bottom. That looks nicer. Go ahead and make this orange as well. And I see that the breadcrumbs link is blue. Let's scroll down and make that orange and so on. So I make it, you know, fit my theme. Here's where the video is dynamically added. So how I added that video to my lesson, this is where it plays. So just like that. And then I have my mark lesson complete button right there. But right down here is where my content goes. And I actually wanna put my content above my mark lesson complete button. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click uh, add element here and do content body right there. And so now my content is below my video and then I have the mark lesson complete button there. And then I can go ahead and delete this out of here and I'll go ahead and save it. And now I'm gonna come back to my lesson over here and we'll go ahead and refresh it and take a look at what our theme looks like now. So I got rid of some of that white space at the top. Now this is orange, gotta figure out the blue thing. I did fail to make it less than 100% wide so I need to go adjust that still. This is breadcrumb is orange now. Here's my content, just like I want it right beneath the video. And then my mark lesson complete button right here. So this would bring people to the next lesson in my course. Let's come back over here real quick and adjust this flex container. 
We want to go ahead and make it 95% wide out of here, save, and then we will refresh the page. And so there we go. Now my navigation's not slammed against the edge of my browser. So I'm happy with that. And of course I could, you know, change the look and feel a little bit more if I want to, but I think you get the idea at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. And so that's how you go ahead and you can create a course within ClickFunnels 2.0 and also how you can go ahead and stylize your pages to fit your needs. Finally, I recommend watching the products video so that way you can understand how to connect your product to your course and you know earn money from your course. And if there's anything else you wanna learn about ClickFunnels 2.0, please check out my channel because I have a lot of videos on it. And if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And or please check out crazyarmarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.